For the second time in 24 hours, a swimmer is attacked by a sea lion in the waters of San Francisco's popular aquatic park. Tonight, the area is off limits, but not everyone has been heeding the warnings. Night Beats Kristen Ayers speaks to one of the victims. Aquatic Park shut down at least until Monday after two separate sea lion attacks. Tonight, one of the men who was bitten says he has a warning for swimmers. It was the first word that came to mind when swimmer Christian Einfeld came face to face with a seven foot, 400 pound sea lion at Aquatic Park yesterday. No. I said no because I thought I was saying no to death. He says the bull sea lion surfaced and came at him like a linebacker. His head came around and slid down my arm with his mouth open and he just got one tooth on me uh, like that right here. Ripped a good piece of skin off. He was still hospitalized this morning when he heard about a second attack in Aquatic Park. A swimmer named Rick Melville bitten in his groin area. Um, he came in shocked. You know, he had a look in his face where uh, we just wanted to get to a hospital, so uh, we called 911. Cell phone video shows a few people helping Melville out of an SUV and into a nearby ambulance. The National Park Service posted signs announcing Aquatic Park would be closed to swimmers, though SkyDrone 5 captured some people ignoring the signs and diving in. Experts are still trying to figure out why the attacks happened. It's going to be really difficult to know if, if it's a single sea lion that might be biting um, swimmers. We really hope that whoever the bad actor is out there will move on. Christian says he will swim again in Aquatic Park once it reopens, but he'll swim closer to shore, and he warned fellow swimmers. Learn about these majestic creatures. Learn to respect them. Learn to give them distance. Learn to defer to them. In San Francisco, Kristen Ayers on the Night Beat.